Now, to show you the recovery room, we made a film as another patient came out of the operating room and was taken down the hall. On the day I watched a heart operation, I followed the patient out of the operating room and then down the hall to the recovery room. This is a large ward with several beds. The anesthesiologist and one of the surgeons brought the patient in along with bottles of blood and serum which were placed on a stand. The recovery room nurses put the patient in an oxygen tent and the blood pressure cuff was placed on the child's arm so a constant watch could be maintained. Drainage tubes that had been inserted during the operation were attached to a suction machine. And this aids the patient's breathing and prevents collapse of the lungs. In contrast to the activity of the recovery room, I found a happy, relaxed atmosphere in the pediatric department where Ross was reading Tom Swift. This boy had his heart operation a week ago. The bandages are off, the stitches out, and he expects to go home soon. Letters from friends make time pass more quickly. Now, Dr. Simpson, I'd like to ask you that during this post-operative period, what will the doc doctors be watching for specifically? Well, the patient is watched very carefully for any evidence of, of shock or slowness of recovery, any, any possibility of, of late hemorrhage from the wound, which can happen either uh, external in the body or, or inside. The, the patient is fed intravenously with fluids and, and nutrients. The blood pressure is carefully watched to be sure that the circulation is being maintained. Thank you very much, Doctor. Dr. Robinson, assuming that all goes well, how soon will the uh, patient be taken off the oxygen and what would be the expected schedule of recovery? This is an individual matter depending upon the, how the boy gets along, but in general, in about 48 hours, the tubes are taken out of his chest and the oxygen is stopped about the same time. And just actually, what is the function of the tubes that are placed in the chest, Doctor? The tubes in the chest keep uh, the uh, drainage from the lungs uh, in such a way so that the uh, lungs are kept inflated, so keep that there is no fluid in there to press against the lungs so that the lungs will not collapse. Mm -hmm. How soon might Tommy be expected to get out of bed after this operation? Approximately seven days after the operation, he'll be up and around. Would you care to offer a comment as, as about the operation, the procedure that you saw tonight? I have nothing but compliments for the technique, the surgery, and I hope the result. Thank you very much, Dr. Robinson. And now let's return to surgery at Stanford Lane Hospital in San Francisco. We're now back in the operating room. The surgeon has completed his part of the procedure and has agreed to answer some questions. How does Tommy look now, Doctor? Well, I think things look very good at the moment. I think his condition is quite satisfactory. His blood pressure is about 110, and his pulse is quite steady. How much longer will it take to finish the closure? Well, I should think about 15 minutes it would uh, complete the closure satisfactorily. Now, doctor, when you first were able to see Tommy's heart defect, did you find what you expected? Well, we found a bit more than we expected, as a matter of fact. Uh, instead of just having an atrial septal defect, a hole between the two chambers of the heart, he had both veins draining the right lung coming in above the defect, into the right side of the heart, so that the repair had to incorporate these veins into it and move them over to the left side. It was possible to do this by utilizing the atrial septal defect. And that was something you didn't suspect before the no, operation? No, we didn't. But we do find these in about 10% of the cases. Were there any other unusual features, Doctor? No, that's all. Well, doctor, you must have a very great feeling of accomplishment in completing an operation like this. Well, I think the greatest accomplishment comes from seeing these children well and running and playing thereafter, not subject to colds and the other things which they're inclined to have if they have such a defect. 
Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Larry had his operation five months ago. And now look at him. His mother says he's a changed boy. He's not only active, he seems to be tireless. As we see him playing, knowing as we do, that he stands an excellent chance of living a long, full life, we can understand the satisfaction the surgeon and the members of the surgery team feel in their work. This is the goal, the reason for the years of preparation, research, and development these physicians have devoted to open heart surgery. We all hope that Tommy will have just as happy a result. But we've learned tonight that this cannot be promised. He's receiving all the care these dedicated doctors and nurses can give. We look forward to the time when Tommy will be as active as Larry. We know that many of you will be interested in Tommy's condition during this critical period. KPIX has provided a special telephone for your convenience. Just telephone this number, Prospect 6, Four six hundred, prospect six, four six hundred for the latest reports on Tommy's condition. And there's one more thought. Tommy, like any eight-year-old boy, likes to receive mail. And if you would like to send a postcard to Tommy, do so simply by addressing your card to Tommy, Stanford Lane Hospital, San Francisco. This first television report of open heart surgery with a heart-lung machine was produced by KPIX and the San Francisco Medical Society with the cooperation of Stanford University Hospital. It has been brought to you by Seba Pharmaceutical Products Incorporated. For three quarters of a century, the source of new and improved plastics, dyes, chemical specialties, and pharmaceuticals. Seba stands for originality and quality the world over. Seba, where research is the tradition. <laughs>